let's focus on the National Science and Maths Quiz. And I go straight away to my colleague, Maxwell Agbagba. It's the biggest showdown today with these schools that, well, at least two of them. And you can't predict who's going to go down and who is going to be up. And I'm talking about Premier College and St. Thomas Aquinas Senior High School. But I'm also not forgetting that there's Asantiman also featuring. We're not mentioning them that they could be uh, the surprise. Max Walagbaba, what's the temperature? How is it reading? Well, <laughs> Mamavi is boiling already. <laughs> Let me just say that this is the day um, the Lord has made, and we're just waiting patiently for 11:30 to see uh, what that day is going to, you know, produce. Uh, but before I jump into that, let me just uh, say that our coverage is made possible by Bright SHS. Bright SHS Kukrin Tubi. They provide quality education. Um, they're based in the Eastern Region. It's also made possible um, by Adonko Nest Level Energy drink. Um, also, uh, we enjoy support also from Adonko Hand Sanitizer and DBS Roofing. Um, before I come to the analysis on today's contest, analysis of today's contest, let me start off from yesterday, um, how it happened um, yesterday. So the first contest at the RS Amegashi Auditorium, Holy Child School, um, they had 46 points, Kintampo SHS had 23 points, and Otibuatin SHS had 14 points. The shocker of that contest um, is that Otibuatin Boatin SHS came into the contest as the seeded school and many expected them to rise to the occasion and give us you know a, a good performance but that did not happen um, at the end of the contest they were trailing behind with only 14 points Holy Child School qualified to the quarterfinals of the ongoing um, competition now the next competition that happened um, at the RS Amegashi Auditorium um, was between Wesley Girls High School Sunrise SHS and then Tema Methodist um, SHS. At the end of the contest, Wesley Girls had 46 points, Sunrise SHS had 25 points, and Tema Methodist SHS had um, 18 points. Also, another shocker in the Tema Methodist Day SHS, they looked very promising from the original qualifiers. Um, they did well at the original qualifiers, at the prelims also, they did quite well, but, 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 their performance took a nose dive um, yesterday when they came up um, against Wesley Girls. Of course, Wesley Girls is an NSMQ giant, if you really want to describe it. Last year, they got to the semi-finals of the 2019 competition. So really, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot write them out of the contest. Sunrise SHS, many expected them um, you know, to give Wesley Girls um, a run for their money. Many gave them a chance because in the 2018 competition, Sunrise SHS, Sunrise SHS kicked out Opokuwari School and people were impressed with their performance. So coming up against Wesley Girls, we thought, oh, they were going to do their thing again. But no, they couldn't do anything. It didn't happen. <laughs> they were kicked out of the competition and now um, they are out. Now, the third competition contest that happened at the... RS Amegashi Auditorium, Opokuwari School, Opokuwari School. Um, they had 46 points. Agogo State College had 38 points, and Zamzugu SHS had 17 points. Now, the shock of that competition was Agogo State College. Agogo State College, at a point, looked like they were going to kick out, you know, um, Opokuwari School. And I know a lot of um, Premier College O students were relishing a moment like that, but that did not happen. Um, Opokuwari School were able to and, you know, the tables round and um, they won the competition. So Agogo State College, you know, missed out an opportunity to kick out, you know, um, an NSMQ giant, two-time winners of the National Science and Math Quiz. They put up an impressive show, um, though. The last contest at the RS Amegashi Auditorium, hmm. St. Margaret Mary Senior High School, yeah, St. Margaret, former school, actually, <laughs> beats Maoli School with just one point. <laughs> that was a shocker. So they've kicked out Maoli School out of the competition. St. Margaret Mary is progressing uh, to the quarterfinals of the National Science and Math Quiz. And we say congratulations, you know, um, to the guys. So those are the contests that happened at the RS Amigashi Auditorium. There, was a, there were also other contests at the um, NNB. But today, um, let's focus on the contest for today. The contest everyone is talking about. Um, hmm. Let's start off from Premper College, St. Thomas Aquinas, and then Asantiman SHS. This is the contest everyone, I mean, is looking forward to. Now, the interesting facts about this contest is that 
Premper College, they've won the national, they've won the national science and maths quiz, you know, four times. They are looking forward to winning it for a fifth time. And like I mentioned the other time, um, even before the balloting, I saw graphics and I saw artworks going around calling on um, Amount for us to, you know, donate to the National Science and Maths Quiz team so they can make it possible. So th that dream will become a reality, that dream of winning um, the competition for a fifth time to equal, you know, the number of times per second Legon has won it. So they're on the journey to win it for the fifth time. But is that going to be possible at all? Because we know um, St. Thomas Aquinas SHS is also poised for action. Now, remember that St. Thomas Aquinas is the only day school um, to have won the National Science and Maths Quiz. They did that in the year 2013. What would be a sweet revenge for St. Thomas Aquinas SHS is that in the year, 20, in the year 2017, actually, in 2017, they went to the finals. Brentford College was in the finals. St. Thomas Aquinas was also in the finals. And at this other college, also in the finals. This is what happened. Brentford College won that contest. What would be sweet revenge for St. Thomas Aquinas SHS? Sweet revenge for St. Thomas Aquinas SHS would mean that beating Brentford College so that for the first time, Premier College would go and start from the prelims, would go and start from the regions, like the regional qualifiers. And the interesting thing is that yesterday, as Opokuwari School struggled to beat Agogo State College, I actually saw some trolls from old students of Premper College who were waiting for a moment where Agogo State College, you know, would win that particular contest, you know, so Opokuwari School would be out. Opokuwari came out victorious. Today is definitely a payback time for the guys at Opokuwari School because they would definitely want Premper College, you know, to win. They will definitely want Premier College to lose. That would mean that St. Thomas Aquinas would be winning. Somebody said, if they want, <laughs> if Premier College, the, the worst guys would say, if Premier College should win, you know, <laughs> their the trophy should go to the Northern region. That's what they would say, you know. So sweet revenge for St. Thomas Aquinas would be beating Premier College so that for the first time, they would have to start um, at the regional qualifiers. And indeed, if Premier College, if they lose this contest, what it means is that losing at the 1-8 stage means you are going down and starting from the bottom in the year 2021 when the NSMQ you know, is back. I'm sure they definitely wouldn't want that to happen. St. Thomas Aquinas, who've seen them perform at the prelims, and trust me, the guys are really good. Now, at the prelims, they were the second highest scoring school after Kumasi and Anglican SHS. They had 65 points. Kumasi Anglican SHS had 74 points. So second highest scoring school in the prelims coming up against Premper College. They're going to give a good run. Uh, they're going to give Premper College a good run, you know, for their money. Now, another contest that is coming up. Let me take you through that one. Um, that one, we have um, Accra Academy is in there. And then Asin State College, and then Ifia could be Ampim SHS. Hmm. Accra Academy, Accra Academy is coming up against a fierce, you know, um, opposition. Asin State College, they've put up, you know, very good performance um, since this competition started. Um, they have a super sub who does so well when it comes to true or false. She's a lady. Uh, uh, the guys were the reason. Actually, the reason we do not have Infantiman, you know, school in the National Science and Maths quiz for this year. So coming up against Accra Academy, would, <laughs> I mean, Accra Academy would have to really position themselves well, you know, to, um, to be able to win this particular um, contest. I'll run you through um, the other contest um, for the day, but I have contestants from uh, Adventist SHS. They're coming up against Achimota School and then St. Hubert Seminary SHS. Guys, you're welcome to join us. Thank you very much. Great. What's your name? My name is Ifwa Manuku Yansa. Ifwa, what should we expect from you? You're coming up against Achimota School. In the prelims, you had how many points? 56 points, 52 points. And I know you were in the 50s. What should we expect against Achimota? You should expect nothing but the best from us today, and you should expect us to put up a very keen performance. Mm, a very keen performance? Yes. Are you beating Achimota School? Um, I'm from Achimota School. Oh, no, you are from Achimota School. I saw Adventist SHS. <laughs> That's Adventist, yeah, that's Adventist. Okay, Achimota School, tell me, what should we expect against Adventist SHS? Um, we should expect nothing but the best from us today, and you should expect us to put up one of our best performances yet to be witnessed. Yet to be witnessed, okay. Yes. Adventist, what should we expect from you guys? We're going to do our best, actually. Do our marks at the end of the prelims was quite deserving, but 
that are preliminary speak put our things together. I'm hoping for the best. Okay. Okay. Sure. You're also from St. Hubert, St. Hubert Seminary. What should we expect in that contest? You're coming up against these um, two schools. Um, so we should expect the best from us and like we hope that the will of God will be done in this contest. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then all the best, guys, yeah? Thank, Thank you. Okay, great. So that's it. Um, that will be the first contest, you know, here at NNB. We have Achimota School Adventist SHS Bantam and St. Hubert Seminary SHS. But all eyes on that contest between Prempe College, St. Thomas Aquinas, and then Asantiman SHS. Over to you in the studio. Hey, if Maxwell can hear me, hope, can Maxwell, Maxwell hear me so he stays with me for, for the next 30 seconds? Maxwell, Today is Daddy Lumba's big birthday. We've got the Daddy Lumba challenge. You know, you're quite a challenging guy. I thought, do you have a favorite Daddy Lumba song? All right, guys, I'm just Thank you very much. I wish you all, all the, the best, best, yeah? Oh, Maxwell is gone. I would have put him on the spots. <laughs> okay, but we're asking you that. Do you have a, a favorite Daddy Lumba song? If you do, we're going to dedicate minutes on the show. I want to hear your beautiful song and your beautiful voice singing it as 